Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, and more people here in Acadiana are turning to seafood, especially crawfish, to avoid eating meat. But with the frigid temperatures we've been facing, crawfish farmers are now just waiting and hoping for warmer days to resume production. Our Victor Georges joins us live from a crawfish farm with what farmers are facing. Victor. Yeah, a farmer I spoke with today tells me his family has been in this business since the 80s and they've never seen anything like it. Right now, we, we're completely shut down. Um, I've never seen a shutdown like this ever. Alan Lawson tells me production is completely halted because of the weather. Yesterday they had ice on. Not only are the crawfish not moving in the cold waters, but the muddy conditions aren't safe for farmers. You can't send somebody out in this weather. It's dangerous in those boats. It's slippery, it's icy, uh, it's cold. You know, you just... And then you're not going to catch when the weather's, when the water's this cold. They're just not going to move. Not going to catch anything. Plus, because this business relies so heavily on the weather, he tells me right now it's just a matter of playing a waiting game. They've probably buried in the mud, and you're not going to have any amount of crawfish for probably a week or two till the water warms back up. But we've got to get some good warm days and some sunshine to get back to some production. Unfortunately for farmers all over Acadiana, the time is ticking and the season's end won't shift because of the weather. Uh, just because we've lost a, a, a week here at the, and the peak part of the season doesn't mean we'll get it back at the end. Because when the weather gets hot, the crawfish will bury and the season's over. If you lose a week and you lost it. You he says if the days ahead are sunny, this production pause might last about a week. But if conditions keep like this, with overcast days and cold nights, the pause could be longer. So he tells us that what the public can actually do right now is instead of um, doing after backyard boils or anything like that, is actually buying tail meat and that way you can keep the crawfish going out of the supply chain and into the hand of the consumer. I'm live in Crawley, Victor Georges, KTC TV3. Way to tough it out out there in those cold conditions, Victor. Thank you. We spoke to Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. They say crawfish is what's most affected right now. Crops like sugarcane, soybeans and wheat aren't impacted because they're not in the ground just yet. Those processes usually start in the next few weeks around Easter.